Are you looking to produce an event in Zoom meeting or Zoom webinar, and you're looking to show a title slide? Well, I've got a little hack for you where you can show that title slide without screen sharing and have a very similar result. But before we jump into it, I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, producing events all over the US and around the world. I do wanna remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. If you love more free content, I am the co-host of the Better Events Podcast. I host it with fellow event pro Mary Davidson, and we dive deeper into some of these topics that I've touched on here in my YouTube videos. These are about 30 minute episodes, so you really do get to get that complete view. And the podcast is all about how we can create, host, and attend better events. So if you love free content, give it a listen wherever you listen to podcasts, or follow us on our YouTube channel if you wanna watch the video behind the scenes of our podcast. All right, my Zoom producers, or maybe aspiring Zoom producers, or just someone who uses Zoom and you're looking to do it a little differently, well, I'm gonna give you a producer hack that I have been doing for how if I just need to share a title slide and I don't necessarily wanna start sharing screen or just something that's a few less clicks, this is my hack. But I know I've teased it already, but I do wanna encourage you, I have a Zoom producer masterclass that is on demand, you can purchase it, and it's self-paced, where I really do dive into all of my tips about producing events in Zoom. Zoom meeting, Zoom webinar, we touch a little bit on Zoom events, and then I end with sharing some insider tips about how I use it as a part of my business and like what I charge for being a Zoom producer, and much, much more. I'll link it down below, please, it's really worth it if you are someone who is looking to do more Zoom events or if you love tips like this. Here we are in Zoom. And so there's two ways to do this. And the scenario is you wanna show a title slide. You know I love to play background music. I have a whole video about how to play background music and you can still do this with this hack. But so option one, you probably already know about it, but I'm still gonna show it for you. All right, so let me show you the first way of probably how you're already doing it, but it will teach you if you are new to how to share a slide. So what I've done is I've already opened up my slide full screen on my second monitor. Again, sharing slides in Zoom, it's really easy. If you have a second monitor, trust me, it's gonna save you so much time. You can do it on one laptop, but you just have to share your screen you know, slightly differently with what you have open and toggle between your windows without going out of full screen mode, which can be challenging. But anyway, I have my slide open full screen on my second monitor. Now I'm here in Zoom, I'm gonna hit share screen. And you can see I can either share my entire desktop. So now everyone in Zoom is seeing that logo full screen. Uh, option two would be just to share that program. So I have it full screen on my computer and I'm sharing that, pro that program full screen on my computer now. So this is a great method to share a slide. This is how you probably should be doing it and how most people would teach you to do it because you're just sharing your screen. Pretty easy, you take over the screen for everybody else. And, and there you have it. Well, the hack I'm gonna show you is just because maybe if sharing your screen is stressful or you're only on one computer, and now I honestly, I do this hack as like a backup plan at all times. So now I'm back here in Zoom. So you're gonna go to your um, start video button and to the right, you see that little up arrow. You're gonna click that up arrow. And then in a pop-up, you're gonna go to video settings. With your video settings, it's gonna have this lovely pop-up here. You're gonna go down to backgrounds and events. And what I've done is I've already uploaded that exact same logo you just saw that I was showing using preview here on my, my MacBook, um, I'm gonna put that as my virtual background. So I'm putting the exact same slide I just screen shared as my virtual background. And here I just, this is a mock-up, just a nice image, event logo. You can have event title if you want. It's my background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a handy dandy little post-it. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cover up my camera. You're not gonna be able to see me here in my video either, but my camera is now covered up. You can't see me at all. And what I've done is I've had Zoom now is turned completely, you can see I disappeared and it's just the logo. So what then I can do is I can exit out of studio effects in Zoom here. I'm going to then, all I have to do now is I just have to turn my camera on. And now there's only two people in my Zoom meeting right now, or it's just me in the Zoom meeting right now. So I can't spotlight myself, but if you have more than three people in the meeting, I would encourage you to spotlight yourself. And now you have a title slide. And it's as simple as just turning your camera off. The title slide goes away and then you would remove your spotlight. I love this whenever I'm a behind the scenes producer now, I do this every single time where I will have the slide ready to go because it's so quick and that's one click I can put the title slide up. I've also now done it with my backup slides of like the we'll be right back. I'll link to that video too of all the slides you need or my thank you in closing. And while you're here, you can still share your screen and you could actually then go, if you wanna still play background music, you can share your computer audio. 
that definitely still works. So you can still have a slide and play background music. And it's literally that simple. And so then just knowing if you want to go in here, if you're going to your background effects, you can update, upload an image or you can do a video. This is just, you know, how they have Zoom has their lovely background videos. So you could have a looping little video if you wanted. I haven't tested it yet of how big of a file you can have. I also haven't tested how many you can have in here, but for an event, I've had upwards of, I've put eight slides in here. Take my post it off so you guys can see me. The main drawback of this kind of a feature is you can't set something on autoplay. So you can't show multiple slides back to back to back, but you can manually toggle through them. So this is where I've done that for especially events where it's not necessarily a lot of slides, or maybe my speaker is gonna share their screen and share their slides and I'm just sharing the title slide to start the session and playing some music, this is a super easy way that just showcases your title slide without necessarily taking over the screen and the share screen privileges if you have someone that you wanna be ready to share screen with. So that's just a workaround for how to share a title slide and a couple slides in Zoom without having to share screen. One of the reasons why you might wanna share screen and not do the hack I just showed you would be if you wanna kinda of take over everybody's screen, you have a very long PowerPoint and your title slide's just the first slide of it and then you're advancing your slides. I would not encourage you to do what I did, but if you're just showing a title slide or like I said, I use it now all the time as my backup slide, because that's one click for me to turn my camera on. I just have to remember to have my camera covered with an eye. Well, I use a post-it, you could use anything that covers your camera. And that's just a hack that you can use with very limited tech. There are all kinds of other softwares, OBS I talk about, vMix, that you can do even more elaborate things that you push into Zoom. But this is like my DIY, you know a little bit about Zoom and you wanna up level, but you don't necessarily need to learn new software. So hopefully that saves you time at your next event. I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer, and this is another installment of my favorite tips and tricks when it comes to event planning and running your own business. I post new videos every single Monday and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.